Phenylketonuria, or PKU, is not like any other illness. You do not have bumps that grow. You do not have a runny nose. You do not have a fever. Phenylketonuria is taking place inside your body and is linked to what you eat. In fact, there are foods such as croissant, fish, egg, pear, carrot, and meat that contain a product called phenylalanine, which is so small you cannot see it. If you eat a croissant, for example, you chew it and turn it into small pieces that go down into your stomach and turn into a mush. This mush will then go into your intestines where it will remain for several hours. If part of this mush will come out when you go to the toilet, the other part will stay in your body and go from your intestines to go in your blood. The blood that contains phenylalanine will then go to your liver. For children who are not sick, the liver works well and removes some of the phenylalanine. But when you have phenylketonuria, your liver doesn't work as it should and does not remove the excess of phenylalanine. Therefore, phenylalanine will go into your brain and will become toxic to you. <coughs> The more you'll eat foods that contain too much phenylalanine, the more your brain will hold it. With time, phenylalanine in your brain will prevent you from thinking properly. It will also prevent you from playing with your friends. If eating too much phenylalanine can make you sick, you still need to eat a little of it for your body to be healthy. This is why we differentiate three types of food. First, foods that contain too much phenylalanine, such as croissants, fish, eggs, red meat, and chicken, and you must not eat any of them. Second, foods that contain a little bit of phenylalanine, such as carrots, squash, banana, and pear, and which you can eat in small amounts. And finally, low-protein products that do not contain any phenylalanine and that you can eat as much as you want. From time to time, you also have the right to eat anything sweet like some candy or soda. In addition to a low-protein product and a fruit or a vegetable, do not forget to take your amino acids at least three times a day. Now it's up to you to choose your food so that you do not become sick. <laughs>